Hello. Alright, so first thing. Overlooked this place on my face. I had a cut slash pimple and Easton decided to grab at it. So it looks awful. So overlook that. I'm trying to get out of the sun. We'll see if any of you all are up and at it. And I'm not even really cleaned up yet. So I was, um, I wrote a lot of things down. Hey, Keisha. I've wrote a lot of things down, so if you see me kind of looking off, I've just wrote down some notes. I'm not the best at what I do, but I have watched a lot of YouTube videos. Hey, Jenna. I have been reaching out to other directors. Like I said, look over this. I can, that's all I see when I look. I have this huge place on my face. Anyway, um, but I've been reaching out to directors. I've been following, um... One of my friends named Sarah. She's been a CNC director. I can't remember how long she's been, but she's really good at what she does. A lot of my posts come from her. A lot of my posts come from other people, other directors. But I'm trying to get my knowledge where it needs to be. And I just wanted to write some things down that was on my mind. And you don't have to be watching right now, but I wanted to go live. That way you can go back and take notes. You know, if the kids get... Uh, fussy like mine might not even let me do the whole video i do want to schedule a team live or not a team live this is a live um a team meeting soon uh oh i do want to schedule a team meeting soon that sun is just overbearing it might have made it worse anyway i do want to schedule a team live so i know everybody's schedules are so different that is gonna kill me if i keep that on my face Alright, I'll get there in a second, guys. But I do want to schedule um, team lives, or <laughs> team meetings and all that good stuff. And uh, so if you all have a, a schedule preference, let me know. What, baby? So anyway. Okay, that's a little bit better. So I'm just going to jump right in. If you're on, he's already getting fussy, so it might be quick. It might be long. Easton, what is it? All right. Let me get him out of the high chair and see if this will help. One second, guys. Hopefully you're still with me. Let me tear this page off that I wrote down. That way he wants to draw. And then I'll jump right into it. And this is what I mean by going live. It's okay to um, have your children screaming in the background. It's okay. There you go. There you go, baby. Alright. So, if you're watching this live... Thank you, and if not, still thank you. Just comment live or replay if you're on here. That way I know who I'm talking to and who I'm not talking to. So, I'm just going to jump right into it. So, okay, so it's almost the end of the month. And first things first is I like to check in and see where everybody is and what their goal is for the rest of the month. My biggest thing I've learned from some of these other groups, don't stop because you've met your goal. I encourage everybody to go to the end of the month. Will you always sell something every day? No. Will you always get interactions on your post? No. Is it okay? Absolutely. You are trying. On the downtime, make samples. Do your follow-ups. Do stuff like that. Um, here you go, baby. Um, reach out to your customers that you've not seen or heard from in months. You know, Maybe they found somebody else because we've waited so long to uh, interact with them. My biggest thing I want to tell you guys, make a connection with your customers. Don't just send them messages after messages wanting to buy, wanting to purchase. It's not going to work. Um, I tried that in the beginning. It will not work. Easton, honey. Yeah. It will not work. Another thing, while this is on my mind because he's being uh, a little demanding right now, it's okay to go live 
and have mess ups and have pauses and have kids and husbands in the background and TV going in the background. It's okay. That's what makes your business real, raw and real. That's what you want. Uh, you, if you don't want to go live because your kids are in the background, you need to change that mindset. It's a, my kid is always in the background. Those of you who have multiple, you can't, you can't imagine how people are just going to laugh in the background. Sometimes you're going to make their days and not even realize it. But what I'm saying is, um, even though it's like, what, the 18th of the month and we still have a little bit left, December is going to be probably one of our worst months. Those of you might be, might be having a good month and I'm so happy for you. December is probably my slowest month ever since starting in March. Completely normal. January might be the same way. Or January, I'm thinking, might be a big hit because of the transition transition month that's coming up. And overlook my battery noise in the back. My um, fire alarm battery is going dead. But, um, anyway, do not stop. Do not stop. Go to the end of the month and do everything you're wanting to do. If you've reached a goal, start another one. If you've not reached your goal, try again next month. Don't get discouraged. That's my biggest thing I've learned is just don't stop because um, it's Christmas time. Everybody's already got their things. Start focusing on the new year. Start doing other goals. Um, never show a negative output. That's my, that's my biggest thing I want, to, especially to my little team. Do not be negative. Your customers will see it. When your customers see negative, they will not want to purchase from you. They want to see the energy. They want to see the positivity. And they want to see they want to see real-life videos of you using your counter cleaner or you're using your products. They want to see you doing that. They want to see real-life situations. Uh, they want to see uh, real-life results. They want to see a real you. I've had so many people, and it's just... I've, it's just stuck with me saying how positive I always am and that's why they keep coming back to me because I'm just positive and I will give myself credit I do like to stay positive because the minute you become negative that's how you lose your business you want to smell it Mason's currently up in all my waxes and wanting to smell it so so far any questions on that it's kind of self-explanatory kind of kind of simple um Gosh, my face is just so broke out. I'm sorry, guys. But what I'm trying to get at is just because you're not having a good month with PRV or not able to get team members or uh, something like that does not mean you're a bad business person. It doesn't mean you're doing a, doing a bad job. It's okay to have a downfall. It's okay not to be the best. It's okay, but you're doing your best. So that's all we can, that's all we can ask for. Um, another big thing I wanted to focus on today Follow-ups and cold messages are completely different. Those of you who know what a follow-up is versus a cold message, you know what I'm talking about. Cold messages are, and I'm not trying to put anything anybody down. I don't even know if anybody sells it on here, but the It Works company. Not trying to be rude, but every time somebody hits me up with a message with It Works, I would want to block them because all they want to do is push a sale, push a sale. They don't want to get to know me. They don't want to know how my, what my child's name is, how old he is, you know, what I like. Get those connections. Yeah, it's good to get a sale and go. That's cool. But come back to them. Ask them how they're liking it. Ask them their favorite scents. Ask them, hey, what scents do I need to stay away from because I hate those. Because uh, the mystery bags. They're like, okay, pick something out for me. You don't really know how that person, what that person likes if you don't ask, right? So build a connection. Don't just send messages. Don't just be like, hey, uh, buy this for me. Buy th I need you to do this because this is a great product. That's good and all, but it's not going to keep working forever. You need to build a connection with your customers. Um, that is everything. I have become so close to my VIP group, my top 20 or 30 that buy from me cons consecutively all the time. Uh, they're the ones that I send happy mail out to a lot and that's why they keep coming back and I want to keep doing happy mail. That's one thing I'm going to talk about too. Um, those of you who have sent out happy mail before, comment happy mail. Those of you who have not, uh, send out happy mail, just say no happy mail. I want to see who all's done it and who's not done it yet. I have some tips for that too coming up. Um, but yeah, my biggest thing is making a connection with your customers. That is everything. If you know what that person likes, if you know that uh, this person doesn't like a mint smell or that doesn't like floral or whatever, 
you know how to surprise them with happy stuff. You don't want to send them that minty uh, car circle for Happy Meal if they don't like it. You have to build that connection. Also, when you're doing uh, connections and making orders, make a binder or a list of all your previous customers. That way you can go back and follow up. That's how you get your good PRV and how you promote and all that good stuff. Another thing I wanted to address is parties. Hosting parties is how I've become successful lately. Um, having people to host those parties. The good thing about it is it's completely free. It's always going to be free uh, to host a party. It doesn't cost anything to host a party. It can be completely online. When COVID stops, you all can have a house party together. You never leave that person behind. They're always, you know, having somebody to lean on. There's games. There can be a little giveaway. Stuff like that. Parties are really simple. You literally just help them set up a group page. If they're thinking about joining, make sure that it's appropriate group names. Uh, stuff like that. And literally, if they don't do bad, I still see them a sit circle or something to say thank you for doing this for me. And if they do good, they get so much sensey, they get free kits. Now, speaking of that, I had a boo-boo last night. Um, I did not realize that the exclusive kit in the party didn't come with everything, which I should have known because it was only 59 instead of 99 It doesn't come with as many thank you cards and mini bags and stuff like that. So, keep that in mind. I accidentally made a boo-boo with that, but... Uh, the, per the person still ended up joining, so I was happy about that. But a lot of my people that have joined have came from hosting a party. Um, I think I have, in the past few months, I think somebody has hosted four or five parties for me. And out of those four or five, three have been pretty success. Two or three have been pretty successful. And it's okay not to have a successful party. I mean, they're still trying. They're still, you know, trying to get that free sensi. They're still doing that extra mile for you. So, you should always say thank you and send them a little something, a scent circle or a, a wax bar. Just say thank you, you know. Um, going live. That is a big thing we need to work on. Going live, um, I know I've gotten pretty comfortable with it. Some of you are not, and that's perfectly fine. You don't always have to go live, but it, it's great like when you get your packages in to open up those, the packages and see what's inside and tell everybody what this is because a lot of people don't know what a washer with is. A lot of people don't know we have a hand soap. A lot of people don't know we have bath soaps like a body line, a men's line, a pet line. People don't know all these things. They just think since he's all wax and there's oils and oil diffusers and just since he has something for everybody. So go live. Talk about something new all the time. Um... Oh, is there something else? Something else I want to talk about real quick because he's getting fussy and I don't really have too much time. Um, he's getting antsy. January is transition month. If you guys don't know what that is, I still am learning. I've never done this before. This has been my first transition month. I, all of you are all too. Um, in January, all the wax bars will be 10% off. Here's the catch. You can go on your, um, I'm going to actually show a video real quick so that everybody can come back and watch. I'll upload this video separately too, but I want to show you guys something on how to get a sales report and know what your customers have previously bought before in the past, what they like, how long ago it's been since they've ordered, things like that. Now, this won't hardly show up if you haven't put your, uh, your orders in as people's name and just put it in as just a big party. I can go over that too sometime. Um, but you're just going to go to your workstation and this is how you're going to get ready for your transition month. I wouldn't start sending out these messages till the last week of this month. That way you can get your uh, December PRV. But so to get to go to and Jenna showed me this the other day. So Jenna, if you're still on here, correct me if I'm wrong on how to do this. So you're going to go to your dashboard. This is how you find all your sales reports on your uh, customers. You're going to go to reporting. On here on the side it's gonna go to reporting trying to do this and show you guys at once okay after you go to reporting it's gonna look like this this is also how you can see your team and your stats you're gonna to go to view sales report at the very bottom get off the table Aston get down and then after you go to your sales report, you're going to see right here, you can see your customer purchase history, people who have ordered over and over, 
uh, product history, promotion follow-ups, business analysis report. So this is a big page to focus on. And I've barely played around with it. I didn't even know it was here. I've been doing this since March and Jenna just, uh, just showed me last night. So I had no idea. This is a great tool to study. This is a great way to get to know your customers and what they like and what, uh, who has ordered who, ha who it's been a while since you connected with because some of these people that I was looking at last night hadn't ordered in four months and I've never even spoken to them since that order felt terrible because I've not been following up. I've kind of forgot about it. It's when you have a good customer base, that's a good and bad thing. But the bad thing about it is you kind of forget about those previous customers that helped you get started. So we always need to follow up with that. Uh, customer purchase history. So you'll go to view and right here you can search for everything. Customer name. I've just been hit, clicking all, if it'll let me, all. Customer email, just do all again. And then your end date will be uh, December 31st, 2020. And search. If you're, somebody's still on here, just say, say you're on here. That way I know if I'm talking to anybody or if I'm just, if you all just in the replays. Okay, it's not wanting to work for me because my iPad's being pretty slow. Easton, please stop. Why don't you go jump on your trampoline? He's got a little mini trampoline that keeps him occupied sometimes. Okay, so it's not wanting to work right now. My iPad's being crazy, but right here where it says all... I knew you would be. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, hit all. And then make sure it's decent the last day or today's date and hit search. For some reason, it's not wanting to pop up, but I might have to do this on a laptop. But this is your, all your customers will pop up of what they've ordered. Now, it won't. Sometimes in the beginning, I didn't know um, how to do the party correctly. Oh, baby. Easton. No. Sit. Easton. Sit down, you're gonna hurt yourself. Just one second, guys. Easton, honey, sit down. Quit. You wanna sit, tell everybody hi? Tell the girls hi? Quit eating the wax. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in the beginning, I didn't do the party right, and I was putting all, you can do this this way too. I was putting customer's order on a piece of paper and just doing all one big bulk order. You can still do the bulk order, but now when you go in, I can also do a video that, about that if anybody wants. Put your customer's names in on your bulk, bulk order so when it comes in, you, know, you don't even have to have that piece of paper. Everything is labeled of what that person specific, specifically got, and it'll go into your sales report on what they've ordered and all that stuff so you know kind of what the customer likes. Like I have this one girl that literally loves make black with bourbon and gets three at a time or more every time she orders. But not everybody will do that over and over and over. So I don't always know what the customers like and what they don't like. Here, go this way. Um, so that's a few things I wanted to touch this morning. And I will go into a more depth live. Um, I kind of just wanted to touch base on those few topics and just tell you guys to keep pushing you guys are awesome i've seen a lot of promotions a lot of people are close to promoting again just don't give up if you're having a bad month uh december is probably going to be your worst month um july and december have been my two worst months so far at since march july um everybody was vacationing nobody was really worried about Cincy, things like that december everybody's getting ready for the holidays money is tight i totally get that and it's okay because some of the months that you do great in, like uh, last month, uh, my whole entire team, all of us hit over 10,000 PRV. That was amazing. This month, we're right at 4,000. So that's the difference in how um, how this month's going compared to last. November has probably been the biggest month in, in Cincy history from us watching the videos and stuff of uh, Heidi and Orville and all that. They said November was the best of the best. So basically... Don't lose your connection with your customers. If you don't have a list of your customers, make one. Um, get everybody's addresses. That's going to be great with Happy Mail. So what I'm going to start doing every season, I got this from Addison Powell. Um, she's one of our, she's a superstar director, I think. Or super, 
I can't remember, but it, she's above a director. She's really good. I don't know if you guys have followed any of her stuff. She posts a lot in the Sweet Dream team and the A team and things like that. So, I was talking to her last night, and for Happy Mail, I've not been the best at that. I've just been sending random Happy Mail and, or random samples in people's bags when they order in thank you cards, and that's awesome. But she, every season, and that's a good thing, so she does it four times a year, she'll get her top customers. So, for her, it was like her top 50, but for me, where I don't have as many customers as her, it'd be like my top 20. Maybe it's your top five for you. Maybe it's your top 10. Uh, those few people that always come back, always support you, your go-to people, get that down. Make a list for them. Do happy mail every season. Send them a scent of the month uh, or um, a scent circle or something small or a bag of samples, washer with samples, whatever, and just tell them how thankful you are for them and reach out to them and just say, you know, that this is your happy mail, that you're happy to have them as a customer, all that good stuff. It works. Samples and thank you cards work. They're very meaningful. When people send me samples of stuff, like this morning a lady sent me samples of some Thrive, I was so excited to try it. I didn't have to spend that money. I got some samples. She was thinking of me. She knows I've been trying to think about stuff, you know, for weight loss and energy and things like that. She reached out. I'm probably going to buy from her now just because she was that encouraging and that thoughtful to send me something it, it's always good especially when you're bagging stuff those little thank you cards that come with your kit or there's amazon cards for like seven dollars put a thank you card in there with a sense a scratch and sniff sample or a wax bar sample like a cube or something and just say hey thank you i think you would like the scent and let me know how if you want to order anything else thank you for supporting my family it sounds very very simple but it's a huge thing because just think, when somebody tells you thank you, how good does that feel like? It, it's a respect thing, you know? So, always say thank you. Stay away from cold messages. Make a connection with your team. And uh, get ready for a transition month. If you guys are curious about the transition month, I'm going to make another video. I'm actually, I might even have, Jenna, I might even have you send me like a, a voice recording and walk me through it or you can do a live um, for the team it doesn't matter she's really good at numbers she's really good at this stuff she keeps me on my toes um so if you guys are interested in the transition month and how that works how to get all your uh, sales reporting and see all your customers previous history comment on here uh we're gonna go over that in a more depth uh, video before january gets here because i really think january is going to be a big month if we do this right because where everything's going to be 10% off, wax bars are around 5 something um, instead of 6 something. And anytime you get a price cut, you're probably going to get more sales. So, leave all your questions and concerns here. Sorry this live was kind of rambled. Easton's uh, on my toes all the time. That's okay. It's part of having kids, right? And I wouldn't have it any other way. He's coming back for more. Hey, what's in your mouth? Hey, spit that out. Thank you. And we uh, have plastic in our mouth. So, yeah, I'm going to get off here before he gets into anything else. But if you leave all your questions here. Uh, anything I can do better to help you guys. I take criticism very well. If I need to be a better leader, I will look into that as well. Here, hand that to Mommy. Um, I want to focus on everything you all have questions on. I want to do the best. I know our team's going to rock it this end of the month and start as a new year. So, thank you guys for all you do. And I promise my next live might be when he's asleep or uh, when I have my husband here or something. So, thanks guys.